Hello, my name is Maria Schweer Collins, and I am a prevention science doctoral student in the Department of Counseling, Psychology, and Human Services at the University of Oregon. And I am here to share some exciting new results from our paper entitled Stressful Life Events and Physical and Psychological Health Mediating Effects of Differentiation of Self in the Spanish Sample. Um, the hypothesis generation and, and ideas behind this paper were really generated by the lead author, Dr. Martino Rodriguez Gonzalez, who is a postdoctoral researcher at the University of Porto in Portugal. Um, and we had an excellent team of researchers and authors on this paper who are all really interested in Bowen's family systems theory and particularly interested in a central construct of that theory, which is differentiation of self. So this study was really born out of um, two lines of inquiry, one having to do with the universal relevance of differentiation, and then the second is um, beginning to unpack the role that differentiation plays in the stress health connection. Um, we know that Bowen theorized that greater differentiation allows clients to engage um, in healthy ways in close relationships and thus they're more able to manage the anxiety and stress in the system in more effective ways. Um, and Bowen also posited that this, uh, this important role of differentiation is universal and relevant across ethnic and cultural groups. And so this paper is exploring those two themes. When we dove into the literature um, on differentiation in physical and psychological health, there were some very clear links between greater differentiation linking with better psychological health. However, the line between differentiation and physical health was a little more blurry um, and had typically been researched in Caucasian um, US college samples. Um, regarding that role that differentiation plays in the stress health connection, there appeared to be more evidence that differentiation served as a mediator in the relationship, though Bowen posited that levels of differentiation are um, thought to be stable across the lifetime and even in between generations. So um, as a uh, couples and family therapist, it's really important to, for me to think about um, ways to enhance my client's capacity to manage stress um, to avoid some of those negative psychological and physical health outcomes. And so this paper also holds some practical significance for me as a clinician. So I'm excited to share with you what we found. We found that differentiation um, serves a mediating role in the stress health connection. And we operationalized stress as um, the number of stressful life events that participants endorsed and also the negative perception of those stressful life events. Um, of particular note, the mediating role of differentiation in the negative perception of stress and that health connection, both physical and psychological health, explain more of the variance than for when uh, participants endorse number of stressful life events. And I think this has a practical relevance for folks who are um, researching stress and are interested in uh, understanding um, the role that stress plays in people's lives, thinking about how you operationalize it and measure it. Though differentiation did not emerge as a moderator, um, differentiation did ex uh, explain a large portion of variance, 10 to 30% of the variance in physical and psychological health, showing that really it is a possible viable intervention target um, in working toward having um, clients experience greater health outcomes. So I want to close by sharing some of the more generative pieces of discussion that the uh, co-authors and I had as we were writing this up was uh, exploring this idea that uh, of, of differentiation being stable across the lifetime. And I think there's great opportunity for longitudinal research designs to assess where whether differentiation is actually more malleable um, and therefore can be targeted um, through therapy um, more malleable than Bowen originally thought. And another consideration is, you know, whether or not measures, uh, we use the differentiation of self inventory revised Spanish version, whether or not these measures are actually reflective of a person's pseudo self uh, or pseudo levels of differentiation or more 
solid basic levels of differentiation. Regardless, um, it appears that differentiation is important to uh, to clients' psychological and physical well-being, um, and that and that these associations um, hold up in in uh, Spanish samples as well. Thank you for your time.